uh, an introductory word. In Acts 20, and I was just mentioning, some time ago I was reading this, the great apostle Paul in verse 24, he says, but none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself so that I might finish my race or my course with joy. And I was thinking about this, this is the great apostle Paul, he could have said great apostolic moon meetings and great prophetic words and that'll be great. Great healing meetings, that'd be awesome. I think I'd say that, but he says, I want to finish my course with joy. Uh, you know, I'm thinking, and he says, and what? And the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So obviously along the way, you know, Paul had some real revelation of the grace of God that brought joy you know go to second corinthians and you can see where and and margaret mentioned this where he talks about coming before the lord with that thorn in the flesh three times he seeks the lord and god doesn't say no as some preachers he didn't say that he says he said paul my grace is sufficient for you my strength is made perfect in weakness and maybe maybe that's the point where paul shifts the focus from himself to jesus Maybe that's the point where he stops striving and stressing and pressing and manipulating and trying to make something happen and calling it God. And gets a revelation, he says, therefore, most gladly, I would rather boast in my infirmities, my inability to produce results, that the power of Christ may rest in me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities. New Testament, hello, faith people. I take pleasure in infirmities, reproaches, in needs, persecution, in distress, and for Christ's sake, for when I'm weak in my own estimation, then I'm strong in Christ. I, I just believe, anyway, you know, as, as Pastor Lawrence says, you don't have to believe me. But I believe that Paul had a revelation. All of a sudden, he got his eyes off himself, off his own ministry. He's a Pharisee. He's caught, is that right? If you want to boast, I'm a Jew. I'm a Pharisee of the Pharisees. I studied only Gamaliel. You want to go that path alone he says but I'm the least of all the apostles I mean he wrote two thirds of the New Testament he says but I'm the least and I'm just getting the revelation I'm just starting to see the reason that Paul's talking about joy because he has, doesn't have to do it himself it's going to be God he's in house arrest when he writes the book of Philippians he's going to lose his head but he says, every time I think of you, I make mention of you in my prayers with joy. If I was going to die, I'd call up everybody on my prayer list, pray for me. <laughs> he doesn't even mention himself. He says, I pray for you all. I pray for you all and I mention you all in my prayers and I do it with joy. So I believe in the last couple of days, we've had a fresh revelation. Don't you feel joyful about it? Don't you think, my goodness, it's great. You know, I don't have to make it work myself. It's not how many times I confessed this morning or, or prayed or fasted. I'm not knocking any of that. But Paul says, hey, I'll just glorify God in my inability to produce results. For when I'm weak in my own estimation, then I'm strong in God. 